Uh, white guilt is a tricky term because I think as Shelby Steele has noted, it's misnamed. It's not actually guilt. It's really a terror. And it's a terror at the thought that you yourself might be a racist. Uh, it's a terror at the thought that you might be what, what we have judged to be the, the worst reflection of our country's history. You might be part of that problem. Um, and the, the terror that that strikes into the heart of, of many white people is perfectly understandable. And it's also, uh, it, it, it also scrambles one's judgment of issues and one's ability to distinguish the right kinds of anti-racism from the wrong kinds of anti-racism. Um, there is also, uh, I think, another aspect of this which is sort of what's sometimes called slacktivism. It's, it's, uh, I think of, of the, you know, the, the celebrity videos that come out in the, in the wake of, uh, George Floyd's death in police custody that show all of these, like, you know, predominantly white celebrities saying things, uh, you know, anti-racist things, many of which are perfectly laudable sentiments, but, you know, things most people don't really need to be told. Uh, and, and one observation about this is that it's an easy way to feel that you are doing good in the world without actually sacrificing anything. Um, you know, the, the, one of the differences between race-based activism and class-based activism is that if you're in the top 1%, if, you, if you're living very comfortably, um, you can do a lot with symbolic politics, symbolic racial politics that doesn't actually hit your bottom line like Bernie Sanders would. You know, Bernie Sanders really started out much more in the colorblind tradition, as I, as I noted, although he was sort of, I think, pushed in the direction of race consciousness um, by the forces on the left. But he's, he's someone that would actually hit hit those celebrities a little bit where it hurts that we finalized a decision or anything like that but i wanted to expand oh, i think we have some what those i think somebody uh, somebody's somebody's unmuted yeah i'm muted um okay so so yes that 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 would be and, and then the, the very, very last aspect i think you're right critical race theory does not actually have concrete goals it's very light on actual public public policy prescriptions um, and very heavy on anger, emotion, and, and vague demands for dismantling the power hierarchy, which I think people intuitively sense is unlikely to amount to anything concrete, certainly not to any concrete gains for Black people. Um, and so it can feel like, in some sense, it's a safe thing to support because um, because it's not likely to actually affect much. Maybe that's the sense people have. 